Welcome back. With FSD version 12, one of the fantastic new features is the long-awaited Park Assist, including parallel park features. This was currently missing for all Tesla vehicles who had enhanced autopilot on their non-ultrasonic sensor Teslas. Essentially, only older Tesla models with ultrasonic sensors could still use auto park features. Tesla has been diligently working on their camera-based parking assist, and now it's finally out to the public. Today we're going to do a few parallel park tests to see how well the vision-based system works. Let's go! Okay, to activate it, what we're going to do is approach this vehicle on the right very slowly until we see a parking spot open up. And there you can see it's right there. You see the shaded area with the P. What we're going to do is tap it, stop the car, and then press start. Now I purposely started the vehicle a little bit back to see if it's going to go forward and adjust to go reverse and parallel park into that spot and it's doing so right now. You can see the trajectory line to do the parking. It's stopping, starting to turn the wheel and off it goes. Again, my hands are completely off right now. Let's see how it manages that. It's doing a good job right now. You can see uh, the blue box which is going to show you the borders around the finished parking job. And you can see we're straightening in there. And we'll see now if it forwards in. Wheels turning back. So far very smooth. Moving forward. Fantastic job. Looks great. You can see the heat map there to show you how close you are to the side. Fantastic. Car goes into park. That's a success for test number one. All right, for test number two, let's approach this vehicle on the right. And uh, we're going to see if the parking spots can open up behind or in front of it. I'm not sure if there's enough space there behind. You can see the parking spot is opened up in front. So we'll press the P. We will stop the vehicle and we'll press start. And we'll see if the car moves forward to position itself to parallel park in front of the vehicle on the right. And it's doing so right now. It's moving forward. It puts the approach line. Gets to its stopping point. And now we'll go into reverse. Okay, wheel's doing its turn. Again, it's doing a little bit slowly, but I'm okay with that. Personally, I'm not very good with parallel parking. I don't practice it as often as I should. So I really appreciate that Tesla's finally brought this back out. It's fantastic. Again, this is a camera-based system only. There's no sensors in play here. All right. You can see the vehicles there, stopping right there next to the car. Fantastic job. Good. That's two out of two. All right, let's try number three. Okay, we're approaching this vehicle on the right here. Slowly moving forward, looking for that spot to open up. Okay, spot's opened up. We see the box there with the P. We'll move a little bit more forward. Stop the vehicle and press start. All right, here we go. Interesting, if you look at the box though, it almost looks like it's on top of the rear of that vehicle. So I'm a little bit cautious here with the turn. Not sure if it's gonna do it properly or not, but it is going in, but it doesn't look like it's really behind that vehicle. Oh, there go the wipers. All right, moving forward now, straightening out a little bit. And I don't feel very comfortable right now. I think I'm going to stop the car here. I just want to take a look at the front and see how close I am to that vehicle. And I, I don't feel like I'm close enough to the right. Let's take a look. Getting out there. Now, looking at that, I saw that actually there was a bit of space there. So there's no reason for me to stop the vehicle. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this one more shot just to make sure everything is good. So let me just reverse here. And we'll activate it again. All right. Moving up to the vehicle. Might move a little bit more forward. You can see there's the parking spot that's opened up again. Really going to get parallel to it this time. All right, let's activate it. Okay, again, you see that blue box almost looks like it's on top of the rear of the vehicle. So I still feel a little cautious about that, but I'm gonna let the vehicle do its turn. Turning nicely there. 
Again, I don't feel like I'm really right behind. I almost feel like I'm sticking out. I'm going to have to go check this out. Let the car move forward. Again, my hands are off the wheel. Trusting that it'll do a good job. Okay, it's parked. Um, let's go take a look actually at the back of the car. I want to make sure that everything is good. Let me just first look here at the curb. The distance to the curb actually looks good. I am going to go and confirm this though. Yep, so I've confirmed it. The vehicle in front is actually curbed. Uh, the curb there is tires are pressing right there. So because I'm not right behind it, that's actually a good job because I would have been actually too close to the curb. So that's three for three. Great job. All right, for scenario here, moving up here. So far, everything's been very consistent. No issues with the parking yet. All right, I'm going to stop again before I get close to the vehicle. Activate it and see if it moves forward. Okay. Already has its uh, approach line set up. Car will now go into reverse and starts making its turn. You know, one thing I'm trying to look at here is to, is to make sure that this car is, is not going to curb at all. I do not want to bang up my tires using this system, which is why I'm extensively testing it today. And it's doing a great job straightening out. It's got to go forward. Turns a little bit to the right. Yeah, this looks like a bang up job. And again, look at the orange heat map there. You can see how close I am to the curb. Still quite a bit of space. Fantastic job. So far undefeated. Let's try it a few more times. Okay, for this scenario, I've got the sun in my eyes. You can see it's very, very difficult to see. So I am going to get to this vehicle. It opens up a spot in front of me. So we are going to go and try and parallel park there. I'm going to stop the vehicle and start it. Now again, it's got bright sun blaring onto the vehicle right now. No sensors. Let's see how it does. It's moving forward. Trying to get enough space to effectively make that turn comfortably. Okay. Vehicle now stops. We'll go into reverse. And I've got my curb cameras there. Activated to see how close I'm getting. Car is doing a nice slow turn there. I can already tell this is looking pretty good. Heat map. It's getting a little warm there as I get closer to the curb. Still lots of space. Straighten out a little bit, go forward. Perfect job. Great job. Great job with the parallel park there. Let's go. All right, final parallel parking. We've got a spot open up on the right there. We actually had the ability to do it in front as well, but we'll go behind. Car is turning tightly right now. Let's see how many adjustments it has to make. There go the wipers again. That's a Tesla being a Tesla right there. All right, getting close to the curb. Now straightening up. It's going to move forward. Good job. Really well positioned already. This might be a quick job. Fantastic. Another success. So there you go. Some pretty extensive testing there on the parallel parking and it succeeded pretty much every time. So I feel confident to say that the parallel parking that's come out on uh, FSD version 12 for all vehicles that don't have ultrasonic sensors is a complete success. Feel free to park with confidence. Feel free to leave a comment below if you've been testing this as well. I'd love to hear how everyone's doing with their parallel parking on FSD version 12. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. You all drive safe, and I'll see you on the roads.